everybody. I'm back. I know it's been a while. We had quite the hiatus. I've got no excuses. I've been busy. We've been traveling. I traveled a lot with Hostile. I actually got COVID. You can hear a little bit of my voice and residual, but I'm back. So that's what's most important. And you guys who are watching, you stuck around and you supported me through this whole thing. We're gonna train some chest. I'm gonna train some chest and triceps. Yeah, not much really to say. We're just gonna dive right in and I'll walk you guys through the process. But again, thank you guys for sticking around and supporting me through my hiatus. And I'm gonna try not to do it again. All right? So thank you guys. Let's get to it. See, we're getting started right here on the pec deck. She's gonna warm up, get the shoulder joint warmed up, stretch the pecs, get primed and ready for some pressing. As you guys see, we do have the D handles wrapped around here. I know a lot of you guys see me do that on my Instagram, and you wonder why, you ask why we're doing it, if there's any advantages to it. Really, the biggest thing to me is it just allows for a little bit of movement here to where it doesn't stress my elbows as much as if I wasn't using them. I don't really get anything out of it from a muscle building standpoint. It's just a comfort thing. I'm gonna build up here in some sets of 10. I'm gonna work all the way up. Nice control eccentric. Quick pause in the stretch and a hard contraction. Just make sure when you're doing this, you keep your shoulders pinned back behind the pecs and you're bringing that bicep and driving the biceps into the pecs. All right, stretch. Go with a straight arm, bring that bicep and smash it against the pecs. All right, I said I was gonna build up a set to 10. I did six there. I can't help myself. That's it, good. Come on, a couple more. Yep. Good, another. Bring it to it, come on. There you go, good. Okay, good. This is our warm up and this is how I prefer to get warmed up for a chest day. But we're also gonna do a working set here. So this will be the first movement of the workout. But I wanted to note, you guys see that I did get a few assisted reps there towards the end. So that's what I'd like to call a, a pass failure set. So went to failure, my training partner allowed me to go pass failure with the assisted reps. One thing I want to note in those assisted reps, you guys will notice, I didn't break form to get them. So I brought it out here, he pushed me in, but I didn't lean forward, I didn't recruit my front delts, I didn't try to use any momentum, I stayed true to the form and allowed my training partner to assist me to get those reps. So if you're gonna get those force reps, make sure you're not breaking form to get them. Okay, 
This will be our first pressing movement of the day. Incline hammer strength. Gonna work up to two top sets here. Our top set and a back off rather. So slowly build up to our top set. Okay, so you guys might notice I am coming down and pausing in the bottom of these reps. And I did that on the pec deck as well. I'm just a big proponent of controlling the end ranges to where I'm in control of that change of direction. That way when I come down, I come down nice and slow into the fully stretched position, and then I come into the concentric. So I think controlling that change of direction is really gonna help with joint pain, and it's also just gonna help mitigate any risk of injury. But more than anything, I think it's just the, the most effective way to train the muscles and not your joints. So give that a shot in your own training and just pay attention to that stuff. Control those end ranges. Yeah. Feels good. <laughs> no, fuck it. Yeah, seriously, you filming? Yeah. Okay, so me, myself, fuck 35s. I'm a quarter and a 10 kind of guy. So that's what we're kind of having a debate on. Are you guys a 35 plate kind of guy or gal? Or are you a quarter and a 10 guy? Comment below, let us know. Good, yep, keep them going, all you. Yep, now you're working, let's get another. Big push, yep. Good, let's get one more, come on. Yep, finish it. Good, control it down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see if we can fit this on here. Hot. It's falling on. That'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Season, a set of 10 on hammer strength press and kills you. Ooh, ah. negative, I fucking control it. Own the last negative, own them all. Arguably, the last one is the most important one. So don't just finish your last rep and fucking dump it. Control that shit. So that is it for the incline hammer strength press. You can see we did two sets there. Top set back off, 
Now we're actually gonna get into a lateral raise to break up our pressing. We're gonna do a fly, a press, a lateral, and then another press. I know earlier I said we're doing chest and triceps, chest, shoulders, and triceps. Oh no, he's creasing his Jordans. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm so tired of hearing that shit. He's creasing his Jordans. Just on the walk. No, cre no creasing. Fuck that, I tiptoe my Jordan. All right, so. When we're talking about a lateral movement, a lot of what you see is people kind of shrugging up with it, right? I see a lot of this. What I want to think about is punching down, depressing the shoulders, so shoulder blades down and hands straight out. That way we're not shrugging into the traps. Down and out, bam. Bam, all shoulders. Bam. Bam. And that's not with just a machine movement like this. That goes for everything. Goes for a dumbbell lateral. Try to keep the shoulders down and bring the dumbbells straight out. Top set, drop, another set, drop. And then we're gonna go to complete failure and then into partials. So I'll probably get a few assisted reps on those first two sets. And the last set, I'm just gonna go all the way into partials so I can barely move that thing an inch. That's teamwork. Just yeah, dude. Teamwork. Yeah. It's teamwork. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I just backed that ass up. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I just hit the fucking eject. Anyway, we'll just cut that. Kept saying another. <laughs> well, they Wouldn't they shut up. <laughs> when, will this, when will this guy quit saying another? <laughs> That's good. I had him. Yeah, no, That's good. Hey, sorry about ramming my butt into your wiener. 
you know what really gets me through these long, hard workouts? It's some hostile intra R3. Full serving of EAAs, carbs, hydration. What more could you ask for? Go to hostile.com, code Shire10. Just chase the pump. We've done the lateral. Like you guys seen, we did one top set there, drop set, partial reps, the whole nine. Now we're moving into another press. You can do this Nautilus flat press. <laughs> and uh, right, we just went, are we doing two sets here or just one? I think it's just one. We're just doing one top set here and then we're gonna move on to a dip. So, yep, let's do it. Another thing I want to point out, you guys see me hold in the contraction. I see a lot of you guys emulating that. What I see you doing is fully locking up the elbow and loading the elbow joint instead of loading the pecs. So when I'm at the end of this movement, and I'm holding here, I'm not holding my elbows locked out. I'm holding my arms straight, just shy of locked out to where all the tension is still on the pecs in the contraction. So I'm driving a hard contraction on the pecs, but I'm not loading the elbow joint. So be conscious of that when you're trying to emulate that style of training. Good, all you, one more. Good. Yeah. Okay, on three. One, two, up. Hit a fucking wall. <laughs> Shit. So I'm like, little sis, it's a little more. A little more. <laughs> no. And then I'm like, oh fuck, I don't have the right footing. <laughs> <laughs> Next movement is going to be a chest dip. So, you guys notice I'm facing the opposite direction on this. That's so I can get a position until my feet behind me and I'm leaning forward to where I'm loading the pecs. I'm not back where I'm loading the triceps, I'm leaning forward. Big stretch on the pecs. And again, driving those biceps hard into the side of the chest to drive a hard contraction into the pecs. You gotta pull the shirt out so no one can see your big belly. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay. Damn. 
heavy. I didn't get 20. And 15. But, yeah. That's what I'd rather. Yeah, sure. That's good. Good, Nick. Good. Stay in it. Drive hard. Come on. Finish it. Good. Sorry for fucking with your yeah, set. I'm trying to be funny. It's not funny. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't fuck with people's sets, okay? That's rule number three. Rule number three. Or maybe that's four. Yeah. Four. Yeah. <laughs> Directly. Cross your dicks. Rule number two. Yeah, yeah. And do yeah. teamwork. <laughs> and safety. And safety. <laughs> safety first and teamwork. Okay. Yeah. Hey, filmer. You want to go point that fan at me? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Filmer guy. Off with a dip there, so what we did a fly, two presses, and a dip for chest. Now we're gonna move on to triceps. We've got the gym pin. Shout out to the homie and gym pin. Adjustable handle here, so where we can adjust these at any width we like. So I like to set it up just at shoulder width for these press downs. So we're gonna work up to a top set here, and then we're gonna do a rest pause. So build up to one top working set and go into rest pause. Nice and controlled, elbows pinned to the side. Drive down, hard contraction close to the body, not out in front of you. We wanna bring that contraction right down to our side here. Control up, just above parallel, tension still on the triceps. Pause briefly and shoot down. Just like this. Fuck, that feels really nice. So, unfortunately, Nick has to go save his girlfriend. She's stranded on the side of the road, so he's gonna do one set and get out of here, and then I'll finish the rest of the workout by myself. But, <laughs> this guy's gonna be doing nationals this year. So, it's his first national show. I'm gonna be helping him out. Should be fun. So, look out for him on the national stage in December. We talked about working up to a rest pause here. I'm still gonna do a rest pause. He did a drop set because he had to get the fuck out of here. Another thing here, I don't know if you guys seen. Keep the shoulders down. I see a lot of people up in here. Shrug the shoulders down. Press. Just try to mitigate movement in any other joint than the elbow joint. That's all that should be moving. That's all that should be hinging is the elbow joint. That's it. Nothing in the shoulders. I don't want to see you moving at the spine. Just in the elbow. Bam. I don't have a training partner. I'm just gonna take it to failure and I might go into a partial rep, but I won't have any assisted reps. So just because we don't have a partner doesn't mean we can't take the sets all the way to the end. Oh, speaking of which, there's my training partner. <laughs> That's really funny. I'm finishing this skit. <laughs> she figured it out. Okay, good.
Oh, two more. Uh, okay, maybe one more. That's it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Fuck, oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh. set 15 deep breaths another failure set 15 deep breaths followed by one more failure set so that'll just be one total working set there but with that intensifier it's kind of like three sets but either way one set here now we're going to move on to an overhead tricep extension Ugh. all right so Finish with the press downs. Now we're gonna come over here to this overhead extension. We're gonna work up to a top set, aiming for 20 reps. So an all out 20 rep set. Ah, oh, I'm sleepy. This and one more thing, we're out of here. No, I'm sleeping, I wanna go to sleep. All right, take it back, come on. Come on, don't touch it. so bad. Oh. Okay. Now I go to sleep. Fuck. Mm. Oh. That's good. Fuck. Huh? Yeah, really. Did that get your grandma? Yeah. Oh, good. I didn't really get it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're done with the overhead tricep. Now we're moving on to the dip machine. As you see, his back is against the pad. Driving the elbows straight down next to the body, keeping the chest out of it, keeping it all in the triceps. So if we wanted to load the pecs, we'd lean forward and place more tension on the pecs, but by remaining upright, you're able to keep the pecs out of it and load just the triceps. So you notice here when he comes back, the stretch is all in the triceps. So that's what we're looking for. Is that what the cool kids do? It's the strap. I don't know. Yeah, fuck. Ah, fuck, I was trying.
Jesus Christ. Fuck. What the hell happened? <laughs> God damn, I got so I got so heavy. Fuck. Oh. I think you got more rest than me. He had a I had a seatbelt. He had the seatbelt yeah, on. It's fine. He was cheating. Yeah. Okay, fuck. That's it. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. All right, guys, so that is it for chest and triceps, chest, shoulders, and triceps. Just to give you guys a little update as to where I'm at right now. I'm in the middle of my off season. I got about four months left of this off season before I start dieting. I'm looking at a show early next year. I'm gonna end up documenting the rest of this off season and then take you guys through that diet process into my pro debut. So hopefully you guys will stick around for that. Um, we did bring the channel up to 10,000 subscribers. So I want to thank you guys for subscribing and following along. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I'm happy to be back in the swing of things, get more videos for you guys. Comment down below, let us know what you want to see and we'll see if we can make it happen. Thanks again for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.